Genomics is transforming how people with rare conditions are diagnosed. And it's important all healthcare professionals, not just genomic specialists, understand its impact. Health Education England striving towards that goal with their genomics education programme, sharing knowledge, skills and experience to best support patients and their families through their rare disease journey. Georgia was born with Silver Russell syndrome. People still think I'm in school or like I'm a 15 year old, but I'm 24. This rare genetic condition affects a person's growth rate. She was just uh, 1.71 kilos um, when she was born and that's actually a growth chart. So nobody should be smaller yeah. right, that's than that. that. Yeah, so she was, she was way off the right, chart. Right, right there. there. Georgia struggled to grow or put on weight throughout her early childhood, but it took several years to fully understand why. So I have a condition called Ruffel syndrome. This is a, a form of dwarfism. Uh, it, um, UPD7. <laughs> maternal uniparental on chromosome number seven. Yep. Yeah. It makes such a difference because without a diagnosis, you always think the worst. So once we got the diagnosis, it was almost like, phew, thank oh, yeah. goodness for that. Because although she still has the problems that she had, we knew that it shouldn't get any worse. The years should help and things will improve over time. In recent years, huge advances in genomic technologies have rapidly reduced diagnosis wait times for many genetic conditions. These faster, cheaper sequencing technologies allow us to read that whole genome in just a few days and at a cost of less than a thousand pounds per genome. So the faster, cheaper sequencing is really enabling that genetic testing to be pushed out and be accessible across healthcare. But to reap the benefits of those advancements in genomic technologies requires healthcare professionals across the spectrum to have quick and easy access to the information they need. Health Education England's Genomics Education Programme has developed a wide range of education for healthcare professionals to form what they call the learning ladder. What capability does this give clinicians? If we go into the education page on the website, you'll see that uh, we have bite-sized genomics, which is at the bottom rung of that ladder, and that they're the short courses through to online courses, talk courses, core concepts, or you can access the resources through this genomics and healthcare tab, which is either aligned to genomics in your profession or genomics in your specialty. For GP Will Evans, it's about providing healthcare professionals with the resources they need to inform decision making. So some of these tests, which were only being requested by clinical geneticists not very long ago, are now being requested by um, different, different doctors, different healthcare professionals sitting in all sorts of different healthcare settings. Education is crucial for this, um, but you know, it needs to be very targeted and specific education that's relevant for whatever their, their cl current clinical practice. So um, you know, that is basic genomic literacy, so you, you kind of know what the terminology means and what the tests mean, but also how that can affect your practice. You know, so um, who are the patients you would be referring and what are the specific um, issues that relate to those conditions? And then really important is recognising when you need to have more information and then being easily signposted to additional resources for you and your patients. Addressing this need for targeted education, the Genomics Education Programme is developing a new resource for clinicians called GNotes. This is the resource that people will access at that point of patient care. So we would expect the clinician to land on the In the Clinic page at that point of patient consultation. And you'll see that we've got different specialties here. We might go into oncology, which then shows the various different uh, cards or resources aligned to different clinical scenarios. So they're all written to this template around a scenario. And then these are the hooks for learning that are peppered throughout that tier one resource. So for instance, we could follow this one here into gene panel sequencing. We've now dived into the tier two knowledge hub. We're now extending our learning. So this isn't a static product, this is something that will evolve. Absolutely. A valuable resource for healthcare professionals in helping patients like Georgia receive the care they need. It's got to be beneficial. Mm. Yeah. It has. I mean, you, you can't expect them to be specialists. 
that's what the specialists are there for, but to be able to at least talk your language um, and have some understanding of what the condition is and what the needs are is has got to be important, yes.